Hi, welcome to Eureka Archery. My name is Anwar Matsad and today is the final day for Dia and Takif to train for the World Historical Archery Championship, which will be happening in Hungary sometimes next week. So as you can see right there, Takif, Dia, they are both trying the classical targets, uh, historical targets, as well as some technical targets. And for the past few months, uh, we here at Eureka Archery Eco Warrior Park we have been building a uh, rather interesting archery apparatus so that these archers, our junior archers, can train and simulate the experience in Hungary. Among which is the um, mechanical uh, horse riding simulator or the horseback archery simulator. But we actually build it using construction materials, uh, leftover scaffoldings, as well as a steel barrel. And all of this is then attached through uh, springs, which gives us a nice suspension. All of it is attached with a chain and it can hold up to 150 kilograms. What makes our design unique is that it is very mob mobile. You can, it actually has wheels under it that you can actually move it from where we store it all the way to the horseback arena area, which is over there. You can see the uh, tree targets, the silhouette targets. And um, for those of you who are not aware, this does not uh, define the sport that we do as something violent, no. The soldier's silhouette is one of the many targets uh, sanctioned by the HDHIAA, which is the International Archery Association, based in Hungary. And um, what you see here, although it may not seem like much, but it actually trains or rather challenges the archers in various disciplines, whether it's close range, short range, uh, to a long range, extremely long range, like flight shooting. So this gives us an idea of what to expect in Hungary. Other than that, we also use reclaimed materials, like how we built our mechanical moving target, where it is actually uh, 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 human powered. We actually pull it with a string and it will bow up and down. And we basically figured this out and uh, have it here in the park so that all our archers can practice the challenges as required. You are required to shoot fast, you are required to shoot accurately, and you must shoot at the right time. So looking at that, the kids has been training here for the past uh, two months, uh, and very extensively for the past few weeks, and we hope uh, we have uh, provided them with the necessary facility for them to train properly and for them to do their best in Hungary in the name of Malaysia. Other than that, all you can see here, we are using target faces that is locally produced as well as international guidelines for target faces. Uh, the distance for the competition, the World Championship, is only, uh, if I'm not mistaken, anywhere between 7 meters to 35 meters for their age group. It sounds simple, but the challenges is diverse there are three main uh, uh, disciplines, like I've mentioned earlier, which is the classical, and then the hunting, and then the tactical. So all of this is not very common for the Malaysian traditional archery scene, where most archers are more accustomed to shooting at a single distance, uh, at, at a specific elevation, much more uh, relatable to recurve archery or modern archery. So we believe through the IAA's uh, guidelines and rule that has been published and especially the latest one which is was published this year it gives us a rather uh, i would say a rather specific approach tr for traditional archery and converting that into a competitive sport so we hope our archers can do their best and here we are at eco warrior park we have the facility to do this and if any of you who would like to know more about what we do here and what we are hoping to achieve, do follow us at Eureka Archery. We're both on Facebook and on Instagram. And if you'd like to see our uh, video content, we're on YouTube. And we will be going to Hungary this week in the next few days. And hopefully in the next few videos, we'll be able to share how we experience Hungary from the perspective of a Malaysian archer. Before we leave, we'd like to thank all our sponsors, Adabi. We'd like to thank Pantai Baru, Eco Warrior Park, as well as Tanja Exclusive and all of those who have supported us throughout our journey from our humble beginnings in 2012, making and selling PVC bows till now, 2022, we are competing in the World Championship.
10 years of excellence and we thank you for your support. My name is Anwar Matsaad. Like, subscribe and share. And don't forget, be an archer today.